Hello everyone, welcome to another short video. This one's gonna be a personalized response to a question that one of my followers had regarding an old video that I had made about seven segment displays. So it was from Jose Flaviano and he's asking, basically he's trying to explain that uh, he was watching this video and he was trying to do a uh, Cessna 172 transponder with a Max 7219 seven segment display so he want he wants to uh, get help on how to show the standby out altitude or off or ident mode it changes on the simulator but it does not change in the max 7219 it keeps showing the transponder code so after a little bit of back and forth with him I I found you know I realized that what he wanted to do was on the uh, left side of the max 7219 because obviously it's eight digits he wants to show the on standby or altitude uh, on that part of the display and he's not able to get it to do that so this video is going to be an attempt to try to answer that question for him all right so i built myself this little quick setup right here and although Jose Fablano, Flaviano, you might already have your whole setup um, built and wired. I'm just going to show you what I did just so that it can, you know, explain everything. So I wired up these four switches uh, directly to the A0 through A3 on the Arduino. And these are going to be off, standby, on, and altitude for the transponder. And then I also did uh, the Max 7219 right here. I wired it directly to the pin number 32 on the Arduino. And then I also wired up this uh, other push button. And I put that one on a multiplexer out here. Um, and that's going to be used for the ident button. And I put this LED right here because I think that's going to be an easier and uh, better solution for you for the ident. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, show you how I configured all of this and then uh, so you can see how I did it to get it working and then I'll show it working in the simulator okay okay so now that I got myself out of the way a little bit we'll come here to the configurator and I will I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the configuration file that I have already started here so um, we're gonna go to the transponder um, radios here and the one he's trying to work with is, I believe, is this one right here, this one right here, and also the KT76C, which is this one right here. So um, first things first, you know, so when you do the, the buttons here, um, of course, it gives you the option to use the rotary switch or use the, the series of buttons as well. So that's what I did. So I just selected this one here and I put those down here under A0 through A. It actually goes all the way to A4 because I guess it does the standby as well. But I only have four buttons. Um, so that's going to be the, the ones that I have here. And then I did... A seven segment display like I said I assigned it on pin 32 and the first thing you need to do for this this is going to be the important part Jose is when you are selecting of course the, the code uh, well let's do this one right here so you do the the code right you select seven segment display and of course you put it in here and that's going to be the code but then you also have to put the mode so this one right here doesn't have uh, the mode so obviously I can select it right here but if we go down to these right here um, you can select the mode right there and uh, you also select seven segment display of course and then you end up putting it in the location where you want it now the important thing to do right here to get it to work is because you cannot have um, two different things on the same part of the display right so what I did is when I go to transponder mode you go to edit and also when you select it for the first time uh, it gives you the position the, the option to do this so you have to select a shift in, in order for the first digits to be you know on on the left half of the display 
and for the transponder code to be on the right so right here I put 5 and then if I go to the transponder code um, and I go to edit you can see that I don't have any shift so that's very very important to do um, so now uh, the transponder code I put that one on uh, number 15 of this input multiplexer that I have so that's the ident button so basically you know this little button right here that's the one I put let me just cancel it that's the one I put right here and of course you you put it wherever you have your buttons connected it doesn't matter if it's a direct or if it's on a multiplexer and then the LED that I have that one you know you have to find the radio that has the LED so I think I went down to where did I go to the generic ones all oh, right here so these right here they have the little light to, to show when it's um identing so that's what I did I selected that and that's an LED so I put that one directly into the Arduino on pin number five so if we go back to my setup you can see that I have the LED and um, it's going to pin number five on the Arduino and don't forget you need to put a resistor on the ground so these these LEDs that I have right here these are pretty bright and I think I have a 600 ohm resistor right there going to ground and I'm sharing the ground from the button that I'm going to use to press ident so it doesn't you know it's okay okay so now if we go to our simulator here um, and you can also see my my uh, little setup that I have out here right now you can see in the simulator that the transponder is off so that's why nothing is showing on the displays but if I press the on button you can see that I'm sorry the standby button because this one this one doesn't have an on button for just the power so you can see that it says standby right there right and then if you go to on then it shows on on the on the simulator and it also shows on on the display and then if I press altitude it changes to altitude in the simulator and also altitude there and you can see that the ident is flashing every time you see the little R show up right here in the simulator you can see that my, my LED is also lighting up so and now when I press ident which is this one the LED stays lit up you know the entire time that it's identing so you're not gonna see ident on the screen right there um, I, I tried to find a way I couldn't think of a way to make it show up also on the on the display I mean I was able to get it to show up but then you wouldn't see the altitude and you wouldn't see the on and all that you would have to press these buttons again to make it come back so in my opinion it is a much better solution to just put an LED somewhere on your radio so that it can show when it's identing and uh, instead of doing it on the display itself you know so every time you press the ident button the LED will stay lit up the entire time that it's identing and once it's finished then it'll go back to just flashing every few seconds the way it does so hopefully this little video helped clear up for you that and if you have any other questions um, or if anybody else has any other advice about how he can do that to display um, that on the display and then have it go back to altitude or whatever after it's finished identing then go ahead and put that in the comments down below as well all right so that's it for this short little video hopefully it helps out more people than just jose flaviano and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching